Morning world and welcome to Monday 15th of June and another exciting day on Dad's farm. Although before we go there, I will just let those of you who might be concerned and might want to know, um, I did cure our blocked drain problem. So we had a blockage in our wastewater system, which I think was around about there-ish, where we had a bit of a stop back and I got a piece of blue pipe which didn't reach from the manhole cover down there this way, but it did reach from the manhole cover there that way, and I got it shifted. So, not the nicest job in the world. I'm not one I thought I'd share with you. Didn't think you'd really want to get too close to that, just so that it's not smell vision but cured. Anyway, there's not an awful lot I have to do with the farm here this morning. I've already been out once. In fact, I went out with famous Dave. We had to go over to Yarte, went over to our friends at Bearing Warehouse to get another belt. Um, he said to me, he said, that didn't last very long. I said, well, in all honesty, I said, we do give the mower quite a bit of hard work and there's going to be a bit of slippage occasionally on the belt because some of the grass I cut is not like everybody else's lawn, you know, that big. Some of it is yeah, he said, well, that'll do it, yeah. Um, so this morning, uh, although I've already been to Itchington once and been to the farm once, because the lads are working over there, we may well call in and see them. They're doing a bit more thinning in Dad's woodland, mainly because today's weather forecast was awful. Weather warnings, storms, heavy rain. Sometime today. So we thought we'd have the lads working at back our place. Uh, but also today, Dad's got a visitor. Sean is coming to see him. And he's bringing him a new toy to play with. So Biscuit and I are heading off to Tether Farm to meet Dad. I'm hoping when I get there just before him so I can open the gates for him, because he's not that steady on his feet now. Um, Dad met the nice guys from Canam at the Barclay show a couple of Sundays ago and basically said to me could I arrange a demo for him um, because I think uh, the Can-Am is a little bit lower it's easier for him to get in and out of and it's a bit quieter and lots of other reasons why dad would like to change his old diesel Kubota for a nice new petrol Can-Am it is his he spends it however he wants so I said, yeah, we'll do that. So I got on of Sean, and Sean is going to meet us at the new barn in about 30 minutes. He's here. Trackster XU. Hello, Sean. Right. And you bought Dad something to play with. Yeah, this is a new toy for him to have a little go with. And this is? So that's our... Demonstrator Traxster XU HD9. So okay. it's the 1000 cc V twin. They, right. do, they do a, a full power V twin, which they call the HD10. Yeah. Um, which is a bit more money again. Most people are generally more than happy enough with the HD9, which is a slightly detuned version of the HD10. He doesn't want any racing machine. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. You always don't want to put it in the head. So. <laughs> no. um, but the XU models have slightly higher ground clearance. Yeah. They have a winch as standard, fully road homologated. Right. So they come with like the indicator stalk and bits and pieces, which are right. quite nice. So the one thing, because we looked at the one at the show, and the one thing he liked about that was it was a bit lower, you could get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he so, struggles with that. Yeah, well, both of them at the minute, any of the ones we send out, you can adjust them on the shocks as well. So All right, okay. This one's set down as well at the moment. Yeah. Um, they do bed in a little bit, so they will drop down a little bit, I see. Okay. As a, uh, right, well, you is, he's the customer, so you better yeah, sell it to him. Yeah, well, that's yeah, right. yeah. well he's <laughs> already he's already <laughs> half bought it, so. No, no, that's the trouble. <laughs> So. No, it's, uh, 
it's quite a common spec that we do, um, especially when someone wants a heater. Yeah. The XU model already comes with half of the heater kit already fitted, so yeah. a, lot, a lot of the donkey work that's in the dash is done. Is already it, done. It, yeah. So yeah. It, it makes life easier. So we can go on and fit the cabs anyway if we want to, and put yeah. them in the showroom. Right. Because if you bought the Agri sort of spec DPS, what they call model, yeah, you you don't really want to fit a cab because you've got to take it all back off again if they want a heater. Ah, uh, so right. The extra okay. models make life a lot easier for us, and they well, come with a heater anyway. Warranty. Yeah, he wants yeah, heater. Well, uh, you want to keep warm, so. Yeah. Well, I better get off the trailer then, haven't we? Yeah, we'll have it. Give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Is that the single cylinder? No, no, no. That's that's the V twin again. All right, okay. Both my demos are V twins, but okay. I do have an HD seven single cylinder. Yeah. Um, which might be an option. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those. It's it's each to their own, really. Yeah. Um, there's a good deal to be had on the HD seven. Is there? But at the same time, yeah, it's, it's up to you. It's All up right. to you. To I, I'd more, I'd more, I'd, I'd love to sell the HD7 because I want to get that one gone. But at yeah. the same time, I want to sell you the right thing. Yeah. So that's more important than. Well, yeah, but just doing that. This is up down, down the road all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it. More even the that. HD7's got 50 horsepower, so they got plenty of beans. Yeah. Uh, so so this is right. his only. This is his only mode of transport now. Yeah, and exactly. And what you'll find as well, the weight difference between that and this yeah. is quite impressive. Is it? So the like, you'll make if you want to go out there and see a bit of the ground and bits and pieces, you'll make a lot less mark with this than you will with that. Well, okay. And I don't expect you've ever really got them ever stuck anyway, but I've had a few people that have got them stuck before. Yeah, well, I don't, the, those tires missing. are those tires are rubbish off. off well, road. they are. They are a bit. So. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're road tires. Aren't they? Yeah. they are. They yeah. Are. But these wear really well because they're quite a big block. Yeah. Uh, and all the road ones, all the ones I'm quote, I will be quoting you anyway will have this Coronado tire on, which is really good, and they're really hard wearing. Okay. Okay. You've got really good engine braking as well. Yeah. Not touching the brakes at all. Oh, right, okay. Put them in the shed? Yeah, if you put them in there for a minute, yes, please. Hey? Eh? Yeah, well, yeah, a lot quieter, yeah. I really got a better lock on him than the Kubota as well. Oh, he's got a hell of a lock. Yeah. A steering lock. See how you get on. Bolt it. Eh? Oh, you got the bike on it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, of course, it is a fair bit higher. Yeah. Okay. He's a long way up, isn't it? Yeah, but even this is quite high. Is that, there's yeah, a lot in it. Well, like you see, there is. Th this is the same as what was it, the um, show. Is it? But there is also. Like I said, I could do the Agri DPS model. Yeah. Um, but the only issue with that one, I'd have to get it from another dealer. Yeah. Because um, there aren't any stock about that at the minute. All right, okay. But that said, they do settle a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I see they settle a little bit. It's just one of those. It, it, it just has to see how it goes. Right? Yeah. Like I said, they are an easier model to do, especially if you want a heater. Yeah. Well, he's going to want to heater because he has problems with his hands. He can't, he's got yeah. no sensation oh, in his hands. Oh, lovely in here, Mike. It's yeah. really nice in here once you've got that heater going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's and because this is petrol as well, that's right. yeah. and all the, the whole engine's aluminium, it gets hotter a lot quicker. Yeah. So right. then you, you get the heat there quicker and you get a more intense heat as well. Hmm. Uh, Did you these engines? No. The engines, touch word, are bloody bulletproof. Right. Really? Well, it's Rotax engines, so it's all. Rotax will make airplane engines, don't they? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And obviously, BRP that own Can Am. Yeah. They own Rotax. They own uh, right. Sea Doo, Ski Doo. Lots of. Yeah, all of them. So, what you'll have is a bite point. So, as soon as you, you'll rev them a little bit and then you'll find a bite. So, wherever. The same, same a little bit with that. Belt picks up. It will. Mm. The belt will pick up and go. It's a little bit different to obviously the, what you use oh, yeah. the yeah, yeah, hydrostatic yeah. because that is more of a. It, uh, it's good, mate. It, it, it's, good for, it's good for some bits. Don't get me wrong. No, mm. I, for what I got, it's been ideal because I got, I've got had a stroke. That's my fucking trouble now. Yeah. Mm. Careful with a stick as well. We've had this, I've had a customer before now. Yeah. They put their stick in there, but oh, they yeah. accidentally put it on the throttle. Yeah. And then I, reverse the rate right of knots back through their shed. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it is not much trouble. So this is a diff or a. That's, so this one here, was that up then? No, it was down. I was going to say, yeah. So that one there is four wheel drive. So yeah. That engaged four wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, and that's a diff lock across the back. Oh, right, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's also got um, a smart lock system where it engages, or a visco lock, yeah. which engages the front dip. 
All right, okay. Engage on slip. Yeah. Um, but you ain't got to worry about that. That'll do that any time. Okay. Um, this is the heater controls on here. Yeah. It's obviously hot and cold. It doesn't have air con obviously, but yeah. you can see with the heat up on there. I'm not air con, that's what love that. That's an epic system, oh, the heater. I don't believe it. It blows it around the top there, the size underneath on these ports. You can turn them like a normal car. Aim them where you want. That's it. Do you missed it? Um, washer wipers working? at the top. Right, okay. So, hey, well, washer oh, yeah. wipers at the top there. Yeah. All right. Well, so right here, but... That's it. You just push them off or press them that way, holding down. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same view, but it was wet. Um, that's the winch. I don't expect you'll need to worry about that too much. Yeah. No. That's hazards. You've got the hazards on. There's a switch for nearest the door. Is the hazards. What? Which winch? Got, got a. Indicators are this one. That's a much oh, better right. job. That's a better job. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people want these extra models literally just to have that. Yeah, can it pretty pick? So, um, then you want to flash yeah, everyone yeah, down the yeah, yeah. And horn is on there. <laughs> the rest of it is all different modes, different driving modes. You can might be good for yourself actually. There's a work mode which limits speed. Chip. Temp. Uh, there's no oh, oh, temp. TMP. That's uh, that's trip. So oh, right. that, yeah, so that's mm. just to change your all right, down I'm here at the minute. You've got your hours. Um, if you press it again now, you can change it to your miles. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So obviously this one at the minute it's done 2,100 miles. Um, there's a different menu, you can go through different temperatures, controls and bits and pieces. Hit the minute, up on the top area it says Eco, so that's in Eco mode, which I think probably for yourself driving it would be a good thing to, mm. to be in. There is a work mode as well, which does ends up giving it more torque, but I shouldn't worry about the work mode. So no, 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 no. you can press it when it says Eco off, that's in full performance, so that will go yeah. real well now. You know what I mean, it, they do shift mine, if you floor these they will they go. They do, we'll, we'll leave it in Eco. Yeah. Yeah. Pass, yeah. I that's the problem, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there in Eco mode. And then every time you start to stop it, unless you change it, it will stay in eco mode. Right. Yeah, that's a That'd be a good position to, to drive from. It's still got plenty of plenty of beans. Don't run over the dog. I'm gonna hide now. They want to get in those dogs. That's that's neutral. Ah, uh, that'd be alright. So that's it, that's high now. That's it. You just feel it. It goes into like a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. So you just rev it. That's it. Then you're away. You dog. Come on, dog. Oi. Come here, get in. How you doing, right? Yeah. Come oh, on, yeah. sweet. Yeah. To what he's used to, but one thing that he will love is that steering lock as well. Yeah. Because it has got a cracking lock on it. Yeah. Well, as long as he doesn't kill himself or anybody else, isn't it? No. So. Oh! Yeah, so try stopping first. Just, yeah, he'll have to just stop though before Yeah. He, just come to a full stop and then um, go away. Okay, that's Dad temporarily insured on the new toy. He's gone and taken that home. I'm gonna walk down through the tram lines, trying not to get wet. I'm gonna fail. We'll go and see the guys. Um, I could walk down the road, which would be a lot drier, but I've got a little friend with me and she's why I'd rather walk down here. So we'll go see the guys and then we're gonna go back to my dad have a look at the Can-Am and make sure it goes in his garage. I think it will. We measured it, it's about three inches wider than, um, oh, I'm getting very wet. I sod it. Um, it's a bit, oh, I can't, I can't, really, really wet. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll put the camera down. I'm gonna try and walk sideways. That way. Come on. <laughs> so, anyhow, wheat is definitely turning. Get some colour on it. The heads are not as full as I'd like. 
I don't know. I, I don't think I can really predict. Oh my God. Oh, wetness, much wetness. I can't really predict what sort of crop we're going to get out of here. Oh, flipping. Oh, that is ringing. Oh, Mr. Clammy Legs. Right, let's go and see if we can find the guys. They're in there somewhere. I can hear voices somewhere. Oh, right over there by the sounds of it. So the, the crack we're doing here, this is for Dad as well, um, we're cutting a track through the wood so that he can drive his, if he keeps his Kubota, he can drive his Kubota through here, because um, obviously his legs aren't that good anymore. Or if he buys the Can-Am, he can drive the Can-Am. We're just literally trying to open up a track for him to come and enjoy a bit of time in his woodland. So like this avenue we've, we've opened up in here, that actually, yeah. He'll love this. There's no way he can walk it. He'd be straight flat on his face within 20 seconds if he tried to walk out here. But in that little buggy, he and the dog can come down here um, whatever time of year because the field we just walked across that so I've got really wet legs on. I'm going to leave a strip down the side of that. Whether we do that through um, a grant scheme through a single farm uh, SFI or whether we do it just because I decided to do it, I'm going to give him access to get in here. They've also cut a track through here, by the looks of it. So, I want, him to be able to, I want him to be able to wander around and enjoy it while he can. So, yeah, if we follow the track that they're cutting for him, which is all gonna grow back up very soon, we should. Bit narrow around here, but his driving skills should be up to this. He hasn't got to go a million miles an hour, has he? So the idea is if we follow this round, we'll find the guys. So uh, looks like that's as far as they've got for that bit. Uh, right. I reckon I might get wet again. Oh no, I can hear a saws, they're definitely that direction. I've got a feeling I'm gonna regret coming this way, although this does look like it's been cut down a bit. That's definitely been cut there. I think this is where they are. Oh, I see a helmet. I got wet. Yeah, so we. Yeah, I got really, really wet. Yeah, I got thin trousers on. Oh, you're a farmer. You should know what to wear down there. Eh? Hey? Well, I made the mistake. I, I got the dog with me. I walked through the wheat. Only stupid people walk through the wheat. No, only people who care about their dog walk through the wheat. <laughs> See, if it was you coming with me, I'd walk down the road because I don't care about you. <laughs> 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 don't matter if you get run over. Where's Tudor to? Well, that day's over to you. We're going to meet them on the way. Round. Okay, meet in the middle. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of Father's toy. It's nice. Mm. But he looked like he... 23,000 quid's nice. Oh, 22,000. 23. Oh, well, um, we got to put... Um, it hasn't got a powered lift on the tail, tailgate, and he, oh. can't, he can't tip it. He ain't strong enough to tip it, so he's got to be able to sit in the cab and go... Beep. Beep. <laughs> and then when he's finished tipping it, he can go back again, again, you know, mm. like you do with a transit. Yeah. Yeah. So, you having fun? Love it. I can actually think of worse places to be. Well, yeah, exactly. well, in here. It's just little bits. So, there's a lot to do. So. Yeah. Have you had a look all the way around? Well, a lot of this stuff, this small stuff on the side here. That's what I'm getting by. We're probably going to end up just knocking that out. That's what I mean, we're just making it enough for the tractor, aren't we? Or did you want yeah, that? well, no, it's got to be wide enough for the tractor and the flail, so I need to be able to get... This, this is going to have to go that yeah, way. Yeah, anyway. That way a bit, so... Yeah, but... 
Once I can get the tractor in here, I can maintain it. To be, to be honest, like, have you seen the bit what we've done at Yes. That? Yeah. yeah, there's like, like a little highway. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, yeah. That's what yeah. We'll do, really. Oh, he'd be happy. Yeah, he'd be happy. Oh, yeah. No, he, he can't get down across his wheat. Ah, yeah. Obviously, the gate's Yeah, there, it? yeah. So, uh, well, as soon as that's cut, he'll be in here. So, the idea is I want to try and get as much of this done. Yeah. So, even if you don't meet up and you can't get around, there's got to be enough space that you can turn around no, there will be. and go back again. So, but yeah, there's a there's a route you can go right up through the middle. So we'll try yeah. and cut we'll try and cut another one right up through the middle as well. To be fair, you can see it, but you can do it uh, through most of them. To be honest, yeah, but it's just obviously it's a lot of yeah. I just want him to be able to enjoy a bit of time in here. Yeah. You know? Well, he can. But yeah, so we just just stack all this on the side, dead hedge it, and do. yeah, there's no point in trying to chip it. No. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, we might one day lay some of this. Yeah. We might not, but we might lay some of this, so. Too bad. You only left on some Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can't hear much chainsaw work from the other two. They don't know you're in, that's why. Is that what it is? Probably. Yeah. yeah. They're slacking, aren't they? Yeah. Right, that's them two sorted out. We'll go and find the other two fellas. I know where they are because I can hear them. They're over there somewhere. Hey? Just got smacked in the eye with a branch. I just got smacked in the eye with a branch and it really hurt a lot. There's a few of them around. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm really hard and I'm not crying. <laughs> if I wasn't so hard, <laughs> I'd be crying. Oh. Yeah. I walked, no, I walked down for the bloody weed, didn't I? So thinking, oh, I walked down the tram line, that'd be all right. Yeah, no worries. We're probably going to have to, all these little thorns on the edge, because yeah. we're going to have to get in here with a tractor. Yeah. And surprising how wide it needs to be. Get old chip the track chip and we can just cut and chip at the same thing, right? Yeah. If, we, if we've got it. And then yeah. We can get rid of some of this. Could do, yeah. Sort of if it's worth it, although it's just a case of push it in the, right in the back there and just leave a dead edge. Yeah. And sometimes a dead edge is as much mm. for habitat and uh, wildlife, so... Yeah. I was looking for your little arrows. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> is it? Right, you're open to meet up with the two, are you? Yeah, sort of going down there. I'm not sure where the other two are. They're over there somewhere. They're that way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Does it, does it go like right in the point and then back on? Quite, it, it goes quite pointy. Yeah. Yeah. It, like yeah, it is quite pointy, so. All right. Do you want this bit like above track right then? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like these things. Um, these will be able to fell, just fell these and push them back in there. Yeah. And stuff like that little tree there, he's dead. That could come out because that could be a track through that way. I mean, there's lots to do. Yeah. This has been neglected for years and years, but um, I just want him to be able to drive around in there with his new, new toy. He's got it now. He's got it on trial. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's got it on trial, so. There's a little bit that you can drive around, but you can't get in it. Yeah. Because of crop and Yeah. Kick. Well, I'm hoping that by turning the corns off, we'll have done enough that he can get in here and do something. Yeah. Yeah. So, right, I've got to go back and make his dinner now. <laughs> What's your beet biscuit? Oh, uh, Michael's busy. Yeah, so apparently it's in the fridge. All I've got to do is take it out of the fridge, put it in the microwave and give it to him. So when I say make it in, I've only got to put it on a plate for him. So, right, okay. There's a gorilla in the mist. It looks like a stewy. Okay. All right, well, I just thought I'd come down and see you getting on. 
but um, yeah, we'll have to. So this, we'll just carry on as we are yeah, and... this will have to be pushed all back because what'll happen is now we've got some sun in it, all the grass will grow up through it, yeah. and it'll be an absolute pig yeah. if you don't move it. Sort of gone and didn't want to can. Yeah, yeah. Make yourself some holes and just chuck some piles in the holes. That'd be all right. Yeah. Okay. okay cool. All right. Right. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll go and find my way out. Not get smacked in the eye by the other branch. So yeah, it's it's one of those little jobs. It won't earn us anything, apart from a few brownie points with me dad. Um, and sometimes that's worth more than pound signs in the bank. So right, uh, I think we're gonna go that way some sort of that's another little ride through we can probably clear they've done up the end there they're going around the hedge at the moment but we could certainly clear this little bit through here and that'd give them another route through there he's gonna have hours of fun in here riding around getting lost might have to put gps in it to so he can find his way home again yeah in fact he'd get through there now wouldn't he up and down through there They've already done these bits. Happy days. Oh, we could go that way. Or we could go that way. Or we could go that way. Right, somewhere in here. I reckon that's a dead end there. Maybe not go that way after all. No, we'll go this way. I know where I am, honestly. Sort of. Where's the pheasant pen? Hmm. The pheasant pen's got to be at the end of that bit of pipe there somewhere. How's the feed been out of it? Uh, it's perforated. But I expect my brother will find that. Still got a bit of life left in it. Uh, dead end? Or track? <sighs> yeah, there's the pheasant pen or what's left of it. So years and years and years ago, we had a little syndicate shoot here and they used our wood as one of the release pens. This is actually quite a big release pen in here. So, yeah, I shot it a couple of times, but yeah, my shooting days for pheasants and that were, well, I won't say they're long gone, but I just like to see them running around now. A track of some description has been cut through here, so I'm only getting a bit wet. You come in. Oh, she says, not very impressed with that. Do good, toughen your feet up. Come on. Um, um, so I got completely disorientated and I've gone the wrong way. The way out is that way. Okay, we're going back. Okay, we're going back. Sorry, my bad. Come on up. Come on. She says, I wasn't very impressed about you leaving me in there. You swine. I'm sorry. So if you remember, a few minutes ago, I told you I knew exactly where it was and where I was going. That may not have been completely true then, and actually that pipe should have given it away because I know that comes from the building over my brother's. So I looked at that, I should have realized then, except that I didn't. So we want to go that way. Shall we try up through here? 
Let's go up through here. Just don't tell anybody that I got lost in our own five acre wood, okay? No one else needs to know. Right, do I follow that one up there? Or do I go out through there? Um, um, I think out through here is the way I want to go. Yes. That way. So this is where we started filling, filling, thinning our uh, ash last year. We had a lot of ash die back. I see we got some more down there. This fella's looking poorly. That one there has got, yeah, there's still quite a, more, quite a bit more to come out yet. So. But I'm already doing a bit at a time. So I've not applied for any woodland grant scheme or felling licenses. We're literally doing a bit at a time. So what the guys are doing now is more like sort of cutting back a hedge by hand. So nothing with a flail, nothing with a tractor. Um, obviously we've got to keep an eye out for things like birds and nests and stuff like that so yeah right this is the way we came in <coughs> we came in that way but we're going to go out that way i hope uh, i think i might get wet the last 20 30 feet once i'm over the gate we'll be fine Right, we're away to Dad's now. Bit of a delay in getting away, because just as I was getting in the van to go over there, he ran me up and said, are you still at the bar? And I said, yeah. He goes, ah, good. He said, I've dropped my hearing aid. This brand new hearing aid. And he's only had, well, a couple of weeks. One of them, I think. So he said, I've dropped my hearing aid. Can you go and get it? Yes, Dad. So I've been, I've looked, not in there. So the only thing I can think of, I saw him, he had it in his hand um, before he left. So I'm wondering if he's put it down or in his pocket and forgotten. So we will go and investigate, but it's definitely not in the barn. Is it? No. Okay, crisis averted. Hearing aid found, wasn't in the barn at all. It was on his kitchen floor. I walked in the house and I said, can't find it in the barn, Dad. Did you drop it in the Can-Am? don't think so, but I might have done. So outside in the Can-Am, no, no sign of it about in there. Come back and I said, well, where did you put it? He goes, well, it fell out of my ear and I had it and I wrapped it in a tissue and put it in my pocket. I said, where did you take the tissue out? He goes, there. He goes, there's the tissue. And I go, there's, there's the urinade. Sorted. I'm never getting old, okay? I'm never, no. Anyway, I said to Dad on the way back, or when I go back to his place, I said, uh, how'd you get on? He goes, mm, 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 it's not like my Kubota. And I said, why is that? He goes, well, when I take my foot off the throttle on the Kubota, it stops. It, this and this and done. He said, I've actually got my foot on the brake. And I said, yeah. He goes, I'm not used to it. Made me a little bit nervous. I said, okay, well, no, take it steady. You've got it for a week. Play with it and see. I said, it's first day. I said, but sometimes you're better off with the devil you know. He going, yeah, hmm, yeah. So uh, that one mile, just that one more trip from the farm back to home, the shine's already worn off. In this case, of he likes it, it looks nice, it's quieter, uh, it goes well, but um, he's 84 years old, and sometimes when the only reaction you need is to take your foot off the gas and it stops, it's kind of a bit reassuring. Because now he's got to take his foot off the gas and put it on the brake. 
around those little lanes and some people come around those lanes too fast so it's got him thinking but I said no just take it steady you got it for a week play with it see how you get on so he says I, I like it you know it looks right I said yeah but it's like buying a pair of shoes dad you can have two pairs of shoes said so you can have a flashy pair of shoes that hurt your feet or the not flashy pair of shoes that are comfy which ones are you going to wear? I mean, only the fool buys the flashy pair of shoes that hurts their feet. I know this because I've done it. I told you the story years ago. Football boots. Went into the shop. I had a choice of football boots. Mum said, which ones do you want? I wanted the ones with the gold stripes. I wanted the ones with the gold stripes. They hurt my feet when I tried them on, but I wanted them. I couldn't wear them. But it was a case of, that's the ones you chose. We can't afford to replace them. That's the ones you're wearing. And I had a year at KLB school playing football and rugby, and my feet killed me. And it taught me a very painful, but probably valuable lesson. Comfy. Don't care what it looks like. Comfy. Someone's got itchy feet. Can't get comfortable, can you? No. Just occasionally, back leg flips out, or there's a little, yeah. So, yeah, stinging nettles, brambles. They're all beneath her now. She's far too old for that kind of behavior. I'm gonna get home now. She's gonna go sit by the log burner. She's gonna look at me. You know, with that look of, right, get the bloody matches out, light it, now. <laughs>